I have reached a pivotal moment in the game. You eventually come upon this water tower here. And you'll be asked whether or not to give control of the water to the peacekeepers. I've already made a video on this. Or the survivors, and then down below they highlight some of the perks that you get as you level up. You know, the survivors or whatever. So anyways, I'm going with the survivors, like, hands down. Let's just see what happens. I can't wait to get the paraglider at some point. Yeah, I guess we can skip it. No, oh, well, whatever. You've unlocked the city alignment zoom level. Press to enter the map. So this is new-ish. The map is pretty big. I don't know how big the map is overall, but zoom level displays the current state of the city's zones, both neutral and those controlled by peacekeepers or survivors. Gotcha. Here you can find, you know, various rewards you receive by assigning zones to factions to assign a zone, find its facility, water or electrical station, activate it and assign it to the faction you simply wish to support. Whoops, it's literally that simple. I was going to say, can I can I really go out here? Yeah, I was going to say didn't didn't think so. Oh. Okay, maybe it does go out here. All right, we didn't come to watch me like, sorry. Putting weird random waypoints all over the map. So, I'm assuming orange is yeah, see? Forsaken, I don't know. Anyhow, here we've got it. And now I just got to figure out what I want to do because you actually start the game more over here. And sometimes I wonder if I should uh, go back. Hack on. Hey then, where the fuck are you? Good seeing you. <clears throat> Barney knew Lucas was trying to capture him. Jack and Joe warned him. He could have avoided the trap, but he went into it anyway. That's when Lucas was killed. Maybe we should check out Barney's hideout at the Hotel Tango. I'll make sure the place is safe. Yeah, you do that. And I do not know what I want to do, but I will say this. Huh. Floating. Oh, that's earlier. I threw my, uh, my weapon out because I got a new one, right? And there was a crate here and you could pick it up. And then there was a table over here with a bunch of bottles. So that's actually why those are floating in the air. Like it, it kind of makes sense, but not really because they should have just disappeared. Or just fall into the ground, but anyhow. It's 3 o'clock. That doesn't give me a lot of hours left until nightfall. So what I'm going to do is simply advance time. So that we can start fresh at 8 o'clock in the morning. <clears throat> and we're going to go on a little adventure. Rise and shine, cowboy. Actually, you know what? I should do this. Uh, move to the stash, right? Yeah, so I'm going to stick with all the higher uh, level weapons here. 27, 25. Yeah, anything from like... There we go. Just to kind of make some room in case something happens. All right. Let's get out there. Here he comes. Wow, look Thank at that zip line. We're great. I just want to check my map, sorry, really quick to make sure that there's no whatever. Yeah, let's go down and see what's going on. When you jump you with the R1 button, the clear now. you don't have to hit it again. Does that make sense? To kind of latch on, if you will. It's automatic. I can promise you, you normally don't want to just start grabbing bees and shit, but... Uh, there you have it. I don't know what's with all these corpses that are on the ground that are, like, sunken in through the ground. I think the idea is that there's, like, foliage that kind of grew over time on top of the buildings, so. 
Not too sure what encounter. Oh, okay. Want some of this, cowboy? Remember, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. And just for reference, this is on easy. And if you're not careful, you will get fucked up by the fucker. It's like it's obviously easy, but the game isn't a pushover, but I would definitely say that this game is way more accessible than the first Dying Light. I mean, just by looking around the world as we travel along it, you'll just notice that it's more breathable. There's more room to breathe. If you were on the ground in Dying Light 1, I mean, you were kind of fucked. Like, there's just no nice way of putting it. Whereas in this game, it's like, eh, whatever. You don't scare me. And then he's just so good, you know, at ziplining. I'm gonna search his pockets. All right, let's sneak from behind. These are silent takedowns, even if you're next to someone. So you don't have to worry about smashing their head against a wall or something that it's gonna wake up the other guy, as you can tell. Nor does, yeah, just what I want. Nor do the lights seem to trigger them, which is kind of reminiscent to a lot of other you know, zombie games where they don't see the light or they're not bothered by it. Now let's scan to see if there's even anything of use here. Notice how when I opened it up, it said it was gray. That's probably because there wasn't going to be anything worthy in there anyways. You'll tell, You'll be able to tell if there's something worthy, because it'll be color coded before you even open it. See, isn't that lovely? Being able to like just Lord, come across Erica, random people Erica. without everyone always trying well, to kick your ass. Cold <laughs> hey, they're trying to have a wake here. Bastards. Scavenge, Dark Hollow. Yeah, those are those places you want to go to at night. Alright, let's just try and... Uh, yeah, let's go up here for a minute. Let's see what the deal is. Oh! little one. How are you? I'm not little. But hey, wait. We've met before. Yep. I'm Aiden. What's your name again? Maya. What are you doing here, Maya? Looking for bandits. Gonna beat the crap out of them. <laughs> I'm hiding from the infected right now. Ah, so what did these bandits do to you? They stole lots of stuff. But the most important thing was... Oh, they're here. There she is. You're done following us around, you little shit. Hey. Told ya. You're dead, kid. Whatever. Don't worry. How about I beat him up? Hide. This won't take long. How about I decapitate them? So you you meet her earlier. For what exact reason? Obviously. Well, it wouldn't really be a story spoiler, but... 
All right, here we go. Boots to asses, motherfucker. Tell me how the view is down there. Hey, did I? Okay. Here we go. Hold on here. This... This isn't working out the way I wanted. I want to do my little gimmick. See all those extra zip lines? Down. Because that shit's funny. Then jump off yourself. Did he seriously just go wa la 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 Get up here. Come on. Come on. Try that one more time. I am alive. Ouch. That seemed right to you. Ooh, I almost failed it. Man, that was cringy. There's a lot of encounters in this game, like a lot more than in the first one. Thanks. That was amazing. And gross, too. And they're the ones who stole your stuff? No, there were more of them before. The rest probably have it. What's have this it. most important thing they took? My music box. That does sound important. You need to find it, and... I'll let you keep it if you do. You did save my life. The bandits went into that building, overlooking a construction site on William the Ninth Road. You've got to get it from them. If you won't, then I will. Whoa, 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 little... I mean, my lady, don't worry. I'll handle them. If you can't find them, just stop and listen. The music box plays a melody like this. Oh, Frère Jacques. Okay, we get the idea. But they won't be there during the day. Go at night. They always go back to that building at night. Why don't I take you home? Where do you live? I'll go to the bazaar by myself. I'm not a baby. If you don't want to keep the music box, you could sell it there. <clears throat> it's worth a lot. Obviously, that's a side quest, but she's a important figure in the game because you get some uh, brass knuckles from her uh, early on in the game. All right, where should we go? Probably to our destination. Yeah, so as you could tell, all those extra yellow zip lines that are, like, everywhere. Again, that's a result of siding with the survivors. Eh. I might as well loot everything I see. You definitely can't have too much of that stuff. are good. The mushrooms, they help you not turn when you're in areas that would have you turn. Alright. I was going to say, I can't jump that high. No, apparently I can. Apparently I'm Ezio de Torre. The Firenze. Oh, they're just storytelling. Somebody else. Looking for help? Uh, 
Fuck them, we ain't got time for that shit. I've been rescuing too many people. I kind of just want to be... Oh, almost made it to the ladder. This appears to be where we need to be. I just have to figure out... Oh, I was going to say, how do we get in here? See that timer? That's that timer you get before you turn in at night time. When you're outside, you'll get that timer. Oh, this is to search for the music box. Do you see how I didn't even push down? Yeah, that's a side quest. We want to do the story quest. Jesus. We'll pretend like... Hmm, that never happened. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Eh, whatever. Of course I do. Used to commute from this metro station before the fall. You can see how traversing is pretty sweet. Again, I automatically grabbed onto that. Man, there's a lot of random encamp- holy shit. There's a lot of people in here. Uh-huh. Alright, maybe we'll come back for them later. There's just so much stuff I want to make sure I don't miss anything either. No way. You can't be serious. Oh, I'm serious. Choke on this asshole. Watched it. What's happening is you're going down. Ooh. You're lucky. Actually, you're the one that looks dead. Hey! Cut your nutsack off. Get circumcised, bitch. Alright, like I was doing before I got rudely interrupted. Where's the bees? I hear something really nasty. Something's grunting. I wonder what the hell is going on in the central loop since people yeah, want to know too. Mushrooms? Man, that looks good. Whoa, whoa, watch it there. Lorena Bobbit. Not a lot of people will know that reference, but that's okay. Yeah, let's just grab the bees. 
Because, you know, that's something you can do. And there's usually always a weapon there, too, which is really nice. Weapons, as I've mentioned before, completely disintegrate 100%. You don't even get to use them 10%. However, it appears as though there's just so many weapons to get that it's not really an issue. It kind of blows, though, because you can get attached to a weapon that you might not be able to repair anymore, but it still, you know, works 10%. Not really effective, but it's just to say that you could still hold on to said weapon. I really hope this isn't what I think it is. I tried getting up there, I think, earlier. I wasn't really able to. I have a bad feeling about this. Aiden, I saw Sophie and her men near the water tower. So the place should be empty now. Oh, but I don't shit. know when they'll be back. Yeah, this is it. You want to climb up? Yeah, that's right. You stay down there. Oi, oi, oi. This, I'm not too sure how I'm going to do. Uh, because, like I said, I actually tried this earlier. And I, I died. I mean, I know the basic premise of what needs to be done to get up there. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't figure it out. Uh, so check this out right here. You want to move back, but not too far back that you, that you fall. And then you want to look directly up. And pull yourself up. Yep. So this is where I kept dying. If I notice that I'm just uh, unable to do this, I'll just pause the recording and resume after. Because it, it teeter-totters. As you would expect. And I tried jumping on one of those bars up there, and it just didn't work. Uh, so I have no idea if it's one of those situations where I need to go here and then sort of like, you know, run and launch onto that other side. I don't even know if that's what I'm supposed to do, because if I run really quick, I don't think there's a way for me to be able to reach all the way up there. Although I do see some sort of grooves, if you will, in the side of the building, which leads me to believe. Oh, well, there you go. I have a bad feeling I'm not going to quite make it. Oh my god, I made it. Are you kidding me? I'm shaking right now. I hope there's an easier way to get up here, though, next time. I don't want to have to go through all that bullshit every time. Do you know what I mean? Like, that would really, really suck. Okay, well, let's grab the rest of the shit that's here. Uh, where else could I go? Oh, yeah. There's a case there. I could probably run swing off of that. Yeah, if I ever need to come back up here to rest, I just don't want to have to go through that bullshit again. So you know what I'm going to do? It's uh, 13. It's only 1 o'clock. Uh, yeah, no, I won't bother. Alright, well... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, nice. 
Just like that. Military tech. How the hell did they get up there? I don't know. But my hands are, are sweating. It is just absolutely bonkers. So I have to go over there. Search burning site over evidence. How do I do that, though? Well, if I die... Whatever. Whew. I am serious, though. I don't know how to get down. Um, well, that's one way. I was trying to glide down the rope. Naturally, that didn't quite work out. Watch it. Yeah, I, I don't know how to get down. So we repaired something here. So we must have powered something that makes it that I don't believe I should have to go through this again. Well, let's try this and see. Ice. Oh. Really? Oh, okay. So land on top of a car. And you're good. All right, then. Barney's a fucking piece of shit. Fucking hate that punk. All right. Give me a quick second. Sorry, I gotta make sure this isn't important. Really quick. Oh. Sorry, I thought I got an update on my YouTube channel with uh, the bullshit with Take Two Interactive there. So we're back at this location again. I think I've already grabbed what was in here. Yeah, I did. So, you know, throughout the game, if, if you haven't played it or know anything about it, and you've actually made it this far into the video, every now and again, you'll come across some boxes and you'll get these uh, inhibitors. And you can increase your, you know, your stamina and your health and whatnot. Well, this, I've already looted it. But instead, you'll still get some loot, like what you would normally get from here and there. And in this section, instead of getting the inhibitor, you'll get a military uh, med kit. So that's pretty cool. Because everything, like, respawns, like, big time, which is really, really, really nice. Yeah, I was here earlier, and it would not let me come in here. See, it's gray, so there won't be anything exciting in here. Hmm, that ain't no proof. Yeah, we're trying to find proof that he's a piece of shit. I mean, we know he's a piece of shit, but I have to prove it. Oh, this place is a pigsty. Here's something. Why do I have a feeling? Oh, fuck. That's... That's human skin. Packard, I found the tattoo they cut out of Lucas. Damn freaks. What? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. Get the hell out of there! We 
Why are you going through my sister's stuff? See? Didn't know they were hiring pilgrims as housekeepers in this hole. Are you shedding skin, Barney? What the fuck is... We didn't... A little piece of Lucas to remember him by, you sicko. Fuck you. Nice try. But that ain't mine. I'll kill you, you son of a bitch. Oh, I hate him. As if he didn't block that. I'm doing you a favor, asshole. <laughs> Take that, pilgrim. Take what? Oh, I'm actually kind of. Oh, I might die. Gonna make you can't save. I was getting distracted. Oops, that was a botch. Oh, I wanted to finish him Stop off. Stop it! What's going on here, for fuck's sake? Are you nuts? He's... He's setting us up. This fucking pilgrim is framing us. Bullshit. What is he talking about, Aiden? I found the proof. Hidden among your things. Proof? A of what? You cut the tattoo from Commander Lucas's arm. After his death, or when he was still alive. You're out of your mind. I didn't do it. Maybe you didn't. But your crazy brother... Barney's not a psycho. Yeah, he is. We have nothing to do with Lucas's death. I'm going to Ader. I've got the proof he's looking for. Aiden, it's not us. Nobody at the bazaar will believe you. Doesn't matter. This is between you and Ader now. Wait! Please. Ador doesn't care about the truth. He doesn't care about finding the real killer. He's only looking for a reason to raid the bazaar. It's not my war, Sophie. No. But you'll have blood on your hands. Blood of innocence. Someone is setting us up. Someone clever. We're not sadists who would skin Lucas, Aiden. And you know it. Well, I know that you want to get rid of the PKs. Yes. And we will get rid of them. But not like psychos and assassins, Aiden. Believe me, this is a setup. I'll help you get to the center. I promise. How? By getting rid of the biggest problem of this land. The PKs. The peacekeepers. That seems dangerous. We've been preparing for this for a long time. I'll tell you everything when I'm ready. Stay close to your radio, Aiden. Time to make some changes around here. I still don't like that piece of shit. <clears throat> Wait for Sophie's call. We still got a few things, I believe, that we can grab. Uh, there's... Well, there's that case. We could see it sort of like through the wall there. I think I've been there before. Cause like I said, all the loot resets. So I think what I might end up doing... Not too sure what I want to do. So I'll probably stop recording in a moment. I don't want to make these videos too, too long. Yeah, I remember all of this. Yeah, I'm just going to get out of here. Yeah, because I can grab loot anywhere. I'd rather find new areas to loot. Yeah, see, that's the same one I saw earlier that was empty. This is where I had another major fight. Ah, <sighs> whoops. What do we got here? Night Runner's Hideout. Yeah, I still don't know how I'm going to get back up there. Oh yeah, I have to wait for um, her phone call. Well, before I decide... St. Joe's Hospital. It's a special landmark. Oh yeah, I couldn't get up there earlier. Hmm. There's no fast traveling as far as I know in this game. 
I'm trying to think if I want to go somewhere else that I haven't been to yet, or if I want to go back near the beginning of the game to this section here. Let's just see what happens with the phone call first, and then I'll kind of ju judge it from there. Okay, so there's going to be an invisible wall here. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, wow. So that's how uh, you deal with walls, or borders, rather. Yeah, it's so that people don't get too close to the wall. This is uh, that weird section that I couldn't figure out what it was. So I'm going to stick a little bit more to the left. At least you regenerate quickly, unlike Fallout 4, you gotta keep taking those stimp packs or whatever it's called. Or the chemical shit. So again, as you can tell, this world is quite breathable and that it's very easy to walk around without being disturbed. that phone call. Oh, okay. We're in a new section I've never been in before. Something might show up on the map. Who knows? See what we got here. Oh wow, another uh, windmill. Could be a base. Oh shit, there's a bunch of stuff here. Almost just walked right by it. Hmm. If it's locked, that means. One of a few things. There's another way to enter. Or I have to wait to progress into the game further. Pumpkins growing on a rooftop. It's definitely not some normal shit. That wasn't too smart. I want to know how to get in there. Can I crouch in there? The game is very non-linear, however, due to skill restrictions Ada, and some story lockouts. We're having a powwow. You ready to get me to the center? I'll tell you everything when you get here. Hurry up. There can be times where things are blocked off. Like, see the bricks here? There's probably going to be a time where I'm going to learn some explosives of some sort. And then that'll allow me to burn, to, or burn down. Blow down the wall. Wow, he's trying really hard. Yeah. <laughs> 
Time is advancing. I really don't want to be caught when it gets dark out here. Is this door open? No. However, we found a windmill. It might be a fortress. I have no idea. Looks like it's a like a secure zone. Oh. Assuming you can get in. Again, like I said, how much is gated by story progression? I have no idea. Like, are these people trying to kill me? I don't think they are. Man, that is one crazy ass structure. See how much of it I can climb for now. Seriously? No, we don't want to go up there. I don't even know what I would get from actually reaching the very top. Let me look at my map and see if there's any old Villador windmill. Uh, it took almost a year to build, but once operational, it powered most of old Villador. It was seized by peacekeepers after the Night Runner's desolation. Okay. wonder if that means I can claim it. Somehow, I don't know. Let's just explore it a bit and see what happens. I'm not good at this parkour shit. At least I know the people aren't Somebody help! trying to kill me. Somebody help with what? Who the hell built this? See what I mean? Because I don't have the stamina? Well, I mean, I might now, but I'm just saying in general. If you, if I didn't have this upgraded, I wouldn't have been able to reach the top here. Oh man, I'm asking for it. My hands are sweaty. It's crazy. No. That won't work. Not quite. I better get something for this. Oh! Oh, I almost got something for it, all right. Oh, man. I am definitely not checking my blood pressure after that. Let's 
Seriously? Oh my god. I can't do this. <laughs> this is too much. There's usually like a switch or something at the very, very top. And I may have just come here for absolutely nothing. Hmm. Game wise, there, there is probably a way to get up there. I'm just unsure I know how. So I may have come here for nothing. Because now we're just going down here. Oh no, you gotta be shitting me. No, 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 no. Are you fucking with me? Oh my god. I am going to shit. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to jump and somehow do something. I don't know what that is. Where the hell is this taking me? Oh my god, I'm going to I'm going to die. Yeah. So I am not ready to go through that again. Oh, okay. It didn't bring me too far. But I, I'm definitely not, not going back there. I think I'm just going to stick to doing the story. But for now, I think, honestly, I'm just going to take a break and play on my own without recording. Oh my god. So as always, oh, so 1900. Funny. Nighttime, I'm gonna sleep. But yeah. Anyhow, if you liked the video, as always, thumbs up does greatly help support the channel with the algorithm. If you didn't like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs down. And I'll just crack it off in your ass as always. The usual good stuff. I tried to insert something a little bit funnier, but to recompile the video and all that while I'm doing gameplay greatly deteriorates the quality of the video, actually. And if you want to subscribe, naturally, that would be great. But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care. Maybe I'll see some of you in the next video. Bye for now.